Hey guys, what's up? Ni hao and namaste. This is the Indian Chinese guy. I'm born and raised in Mumbai, but I'm Chinese by origin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're watching my videos for the first time, I'd like to say a big thank you to all of you for watching my video. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be making this video. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned till the end because I've got some amazing footage to show you guys. To begin with, I'd like to start thanking Pono Ricard, Alan, Paul, Shailesh, Lovelesh, Kriti and Anushri for making this happen. Valentine's has selected six restaurant professionals from different cities of India for this wonderful trip to Darjeeling to learn the art of blending. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm taking my Nikon D7100, GoPro and my Samsung S7 Edge. So I have reached the Mumbai airport and I'm going to the check-in counter right now. So I've checked in my luggage and I'm proceeding towards my gate that is 42B. finally boarded the flight right now and I'm accompanied with my friend Harish over here. Harish is the operational head for a restaurant called Table which is situated in Kolaba and this is a restaurant which you have to visit. This is a beautiful restaurant. The food is fantastic. They have a huge collection of wines over there and uh, it's situated near Gateway of India so you can't miss this place and if you visit uh, the table then you have to meet Harish over there. He's going to take good care of you. Peace out. So the seat belt sign is still on and we have a lot of guests who are standing to take their bags. So guys we have finally reached the Bag Dogra airport. So we managed to get our luggage and we are out of the airport right now. We've been escorted by the staff of the Ging Tea House. He's going to be taking us to the Ging Tea House estate. It's a three and a half hour drive from the airport and I'm sure the drive is going to be wonderful. He's also saying that there is a high possibility of range today. So the flight took uh, 2 hours 45 minutes. It was on schedule on time. We took a quick pit stop at this place called the Rohini Point for some amazing Darjeeling tea and some light snacks. The six of us got along pretty well. The weather was beautiful. The road to the Ging Tea House was magical. It's 6.30 pm and it feels like it's gonna rain pretty soon. So I have been put up at the Peony Blush Suite. The moment you enter inside, it gives you a feeling of the British Empire. The tall ceilings and the wooden flooring with the furnitures are very typical. Some goodies from the Ballantine's team. A welcome note to greet us, the itinerary for the next two days, the luggage tags with some pins, two t-shirts, a diary, a handbag and another bag. 
overall the room was very clean, neat and tidy and gives you a very warm and cozy feeling. I simply love the architecture. The bathrooms were also very neat with a shower and 24 hours hot water available. This is the room that Paul and Alan set up for the tasting session. We were going to be tasting the Ballantine's finest, the 12 year old, the 17 year old and the 21 year old. The Ballantine's team did a fantastic job by planning and executing everything so well. So my name is Paul O'Connor, uh, along with Alan Clark here, we are the Whiskey Ambassadors for Pernod Ricard. Uh, we gathered you today um, from the two mixers which Alan will go on to talk about. Uh, I just wanted to do some small introductions to start us off. So there was us two, we have Mr Clayton here. Hello. Hi Clayton. Hi. Hi. Our bar extraordinaire, he's going to be helping us with uh, getting slightly drunk the entire two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main plan. We have Abby. Hi Abby. Hi. He's going to be trying to capture your good side. Okay. <laughs> a harder job with some of us. And then Karen also will be doing the same. All right, hi Karen. Fantastic. So, um, just to kind of explain a little bit about True Mixers to give you a little bit of a background, guys. Um, True Mixers is an, is an initiative that's been rolled out by Ballantines globally. And basically, what it's trying to do is connect uh, the on ground uh, ambassadors, essentially, with people in the trade. Okay, uh, very crucial people, and we were hand selected, so we do, we do value uh, your, your attendance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, but really, it's trying to provide an experience that is somehow linked to the country, but is also can be linked back to the trade. It has to always be a connection, you know. So, yes. for instance, just to give you an example, Poland's already been done, and what they done with their their kind of trade members, they took them to a, a glass blown experience. Okay, but in India we were trying to make it more specific. How how can we really tie in a, a, a crucial part of the Indian kind of history or culture with whiskey? So blended tea, fantastic experience. I was already speaking to Shivant earlier on, and he was talking about his family history mm -hmm. in the industry, and I'm sure some of you also have ancestors that perhaps yes. were within the industry. So over the course of the next two days, we're going to talk a little bit, obviously, about blending whiskey. Taste some fantastic whiskies. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk a little bit about blending tea. Mm -hmm. Taste some tea, mm -hmm. and then we're going to tie them together and how we can bridge that gap between blending, mixology, and infusion. That kind of, that kind of thing. So hopefully, we're here for a fantastic few days. Um, and yeah, and lots looking of good, lots of good looking whiskey, forward for that. Lots of good conversations and. And hopefully, yeah, you'll have Super. a fantastic Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers, guys. Cheers. So we just had the welcome drink, the hot toddy prepared by Clayton. And now uh, Paul and Alan are taking us for a tasting session with Valentine's. So we're looking forward for that. I know, I know where we can go I know where we can go So what we have in front of us here is the finest 12, 17 and 21 year olds So between me and Alan, we'll hopefully tell you a few stories We'll hopefully have a few laughs And you're interested in cars, sports, other hobbies 
Yeah. Whatever. Women for us. Uh, so we're sitting there, and I say to Sandy, so Sandy, what do you like doing outside of, uh, outside of work? What really interests you? He's like, you know, Alan, I just really enjoy whiskey. <laughs> so in my head, I'm just like, maybe you misheard what I said. So I say, yeah, but like outside of that, what do you really enjoy? And he's like, yeah, like... Whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> so for us, you know Wikipedia? Yeah. He is like Wikipedia. Whis- he knows everything there is to know. Fantastic guy to have at the, the captain to be the, the yeah, captain absolutely. of the ship. Okay. What the best thing I find to do is think about a top level fruit. Like, so say you say fruit. Okay, say you say apple. Is it red apple? Is it green apple? Red. Okay. Red. Say you say it's chocolate. Is it milk chocolate? Is it dark chocolate? If it's milk chocolate or is it white basically i don't expect anyone to say okay alan that's dark chocolate 87 percent cocoa no one's <laughs> going to be able to do that you know but if you break it down layer by layer you really develop a, a vocabulary of tasting those I, I agree with you i think as you progress through the range it becomes more mellow the alcohol kind yeah. of softens off but freakiness the kind of rich kind of dry yeah. fruit raisin yeah. fruit yeah. The, yeah. the palate do you find that it, it goes on yeah so it's rich yeah rich yeah, so we don't get yeah. Valentine's 21, um, as Paul mentioned, is kind of the 17 or 21 are the kind of midpoints in the range. We also have 30, which we perhaps may be tasting later on, we'll see how well, <laughs> how well behaved everyone is. <laughs> um, and then the pinnacle of the range is Valentine's 40, Paul really? said. Really? I know where we can go, and it's all you and me. So guys, that was a wonderful session with Paul and Alan. We learned a lot about uh, Valentine's finest, Valentine's 12 years, Valentine's 21 and 17 as well. The different kind of uh, notes and tasting notes that they have. So it was definitely a, a wonderful learning experience for me. And uh, so I'll share this, uh, you know, the video. And hopefully you get to learn something out of this. So Clayton and me go way back in 2006, we used to work together in JW Marriott and now he has his own company called Behind Bars 24 by 7. It's a beverage consultancy and catering firm. If you need some more information, I'll leave the link down in the description below.